from right here, Leeds, England, here is Josh, the Leeds Warrior, Warrington. And I now hand things over to the host of today's press conference, Mr. John Rowling. One of the great atmospheres in boxing when uh, Josh takes to the ring here in Leeds. You really know how to get behind him and it makes it a very special occasion. It certainly is. You know, uh, for me, one of the most exciting fighters in the world, the best in his division. And uh, he's fighting in front of his home fans again at the arena. And uh, I think we're going to get a cracking fight again. He's got to be at the top of his game. He's got to really work hard, come through this, and I hope he comes through it. And then we can look at the unification and try to get back at Leeds United, Maxwell and Road again. But this, we don't want it to be a banana skin. He's got to be 100% at this point. All I've done is focus on to coach and to coach only and not look beyond that. Yeah, when the talks about fights, what could potentially happen, you know, there's talks about going back to Ellen Road, there's talks about unification fights, but this time round, all the focus has been on this fight and this fight only. We've left no stone unturned. We've got to come back and make a statement. I mean, I believe he's the best featherweight on the planet. Uh, he carried all souls in the earth. You know, all the other featherweights. Three other world champions turn this fight down. Sophie Allen took this fight in a breath. There were no, we'll think about it, there, were, there were no negativity, it jumped at the opportunity to become a world champion. He is, he is something special. He's, Leeds have got a special, special champion here. And years to come, they're gonna, they're gonna I know you appreciate it, but you're gonna really appreciate what he is. Because he can unify these titles if we can make the fights. But first of all, as he said himself, he can't take his eye off the ball. This guy's standing in front of him and he's got to dispose of him and he's got to do it in style. And that's what it's all about in Saturday. What would it mean to you to win the title? How would it change your life? Si vous gagnez cette bataille, comment ça va changer votre vie? It will change everything. I will create my own reputation, my own name in the box industry. My children will be proud of me. And my country, of course. So we have a great opportunity on Saturday night to make a statement. Yeah, of course. I mean, when I win this, um, it's coming more title. I'm right, I'm right behind them guys, and, and you know, I'm sure them fights will be made great fights in the future but right now we focus on the money and then get him out of there. Tell us about uh, working with Pat who's <laughs> sort of a, a, bit of a, a bit of a legend up in Manchester. Tell us about him as a trainer and how it all works out. Yeah you know it's, it's, it's I guess same as every other trainer is and, and a perfectionist so we're, we're in the gym 24 7 and we're constantly working we're constantly perfecting our craft and you know, he's got me to where I am now, and uh, he will take me all the way, I believe. So we, we, we're working, we're working great. Who do you who do you look up to? Who do you see as as role models apart from the man down here, Pat Barrett? Who do you see as who do you in admire? Boxing. Yeah, just all the greats, all the greats: Muhammad Ali, Zelfa, uh, <laughs> um, yeah, Roy Jones. You know, just all the all the all the great classic boxer fighters that you know that have been great over the years. He think I'm nobody, but I don't think you know what I'm saying. You've never fought nobody like me. Yeah, you I never fought never, ever nobody. Feel That's what you like are me. saying. You said I've never fought nobody, but um, and the person you are fighting. And I went to Russia. They just got beat. I got beat. I went got beat. There, uh, tomorrow you got beat I'm fighting. Beat. That's what happened. That's why beat. I lost when I went to Russia. Yeah, you got beat. He said I'm nobody, but I'm going to show you I'm somebody. I can see you so yeah. you got beat. You don't know me, that's why you are talking like that. Me. If you, you know me beat. well, like you will say what you are saying. Um, if you want to know more about me, you can ask Joshua, Obuase and Leron Richard. Because they it's know me very problem. well. And I fought them in amateur before in yeah, Ghana. That's amateur, that's amateur. And it's a different world. Okay, okay, you can say whatever you want to say. But I know we will meet Saturday. So I'll prove what I have for you. Yeah, I, I respect him, he's, he's a good boxer, you know what I mean, like, you don't get into the top 10 in Britain and stuff like that if you're not, like, a good boxer, so, and then obviously his win against Leon Woodstock, he boxed very well and stuff like that, but, I, I think I can definitely cause him problems, you know what I mean, if I stick to the game plan, for sure. For orders for me to get where I need to be, next to my own remote, I call it, um, I need to be... Do this, this, but dismantling these kind of people, and you know, I believe I'm, I'm a good fighter. I believe I can be world level. So you know, 
It is what it is. So I think I'm gonna win. This our main event Saturday night at the First Direct Arena, live on BT Sport and in the United States on ESPN Plus. This a scheduled 12 round contest for the IBF Featherweight Championship of the World. Just Waddington! Just Waddington! Just Waddington! <laughs> Thank you. 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 Thank you.